Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. I'm waiting for a 14mm reamer to arrive before I can carry on with the uh, timing side. So uh, while that's waiting, I've done a couple of bits and bats with uh, rings. Uh, what I've got over here, I'll just have a, a quick show you. I've got one of the barrels, the one I'm planning to use, soaking in a bit of paraffin there. And the reason I'm doing that is that there's a contraction ring in the bottom of the cylinder that I want to get out. I'm also going to take the head off in a bit uh, and make sure the compression rings in the head are in good order to give those an inspection. So I thought it's probably worth spending five minutes or so just to run through rings in general because on a sleeve valve there's a couple of rings that you don't normally get on a regular engine and uh, I thought people might be interested in a bit of a rundown of those. So the sleeve runs up and down inside the cylinder, the piston goes up and down inside the sleeve and the the head is essentially just like an upside down piston so i've got a head here it's an old head you can see a royal enfield bullet decompressor fits inside the head so i've got the option of fitting a decompressor or uh, having it as a twin plug head and the head itself underneath there's no valves in the head there's no rockers there's no push rods there's no camshaft that is the cylinder head some uh, people call it a junk head um, because there's there's not much to it. It's just like an upside down piston. There's a piston. There's a head. You can see they're they're really quite similar. The only the only difference is this is uh, slightly domed and it's got the holes for the spark plug. So the piston has got compression rings. They are compressed in normal operation and they spring outwards. So is the head. The head's got compression rings in. They're compressed in normal operation and they spring outwards. And if we look at the sleeve over here, you can see why. So the and the piston is inside here, lower down, moving up and down. So you want a really good gas tight seal. So the rings on the piston, which are in compression, are trying to spring outwards against the inside of here. So they give you a nice gas tight seal. And the cylinder head is like an upside down piston. And as the sleeve moves up and down, the rings in the head, they always stay inside the uh, sleeve. But the rings in the head, they descend past the holes or the ports which are the valves and that gives you a really nice gas tight seal between the rings of the piston and the rings of the head and then as the sleeve descends again the ports go below the compression rings in the head and then the gas is allowed to flow whether it's out of the exhaust port or the inlet port depending on the orientation of the sleeve because the sleeve also twists as well as goes up and down. So that should be fairly straightforward. It's a compression ring on the piston, a compression ring on the head, and, and this goes up and down inside the head. And you can see on this sleeve, that's probably the, the limit of travel um, where, the, where the rings go sort of between there and there. So you can see that the, the witness marks when this uh, sleeve's been in service. But what we've also got, a contraction ring which goes on the outside of the sleeve and that's inside the bottom of the cylinder so that's an upside down cylinder I've turned it upside down so you can see that ring there and what that does is it, it contracts and it squeezes the outside of the sleeve and the reason for that is if you imagine there's a whole load of oil spinning around inside here you've got the big flywheels with the half moons in they're going to kick oil everywhere and oil is going to get onto the bottom of the sleeve what what we don't want to happen is for that oil to creep up the sleeve and be able to be ingested by the engine into the combustion chamber or exit into the exhaust because it'll just smoke like the clappers and uh, i want this to be a really cool chop i don't want it to be a uh, smoky old joe and you know big white billowing smoke behind your bike is never a good look maybe for the red arrows not for a chop so what the contraction ring is is to give you a, like a, an oil scraper to scrape the oil off the outside and stop it going into the ports now this ring you can see here um as kind of it, you can't move it round it's quite gummed up inside there and and the one in the other cylinder is the same so I've got it soaking in some paraffin and I'll take that out perhaps in a week or two and make sure I can extract the contraction ring uh, and, and get it so it's a, a bit more of a bit more of a, 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 a looser fit uh, and I'll do the same with the head. So that's the next job. Those are the bits all lined up. That's me. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video.